Hi, my name is Justin Chopin. I'm the engineering lead at PatchMyPC. In this video, we're going to be covering an issue that you may get when you publish third-party software updates from our catalog through our publishing tool, SCCM, or even SCUP. The error that we're looking at today is going to be an error that says create directory failed. So the first example that we'll look at is in our patchmypc.log. This would be where we could see the error if you're using our publishing utility. So if you're experiencing the issue that we're talking about here, you should see something that says an error occurred while publishing an update to WSUS, create directory failed. Now, if you're using the SCCM publishing feature within the SCCM SMS underscore ISV update sync agent log, you'll see something similar. So what you'll see there is you get an exception when it tries to publish the update. And then here you'll see the error code and it will also say the error message is create directory failed. Now what this error is saying is that when we go out and download the vendor update file and it's attempting to publish it within the WSUS folder with your code signing certificate, it's unable to create the directory within WSUS to create that update and publish it. Now, what we need to do to ensure that we actually have the folders created in the correct permission, what actually happens is the update uh, WSUS content folder and the uh, update service packs folder should exist within your WSUS content folder. Now you can validate where the actual WSUS content folder is by looking at HK local machine, software, Microsoft, update services, server, and then setup. Within the setup folder, we're gonna see we have this content dir folder. Now this is where the content directory was initially configured when you set up WSUS for the first time. Now, what we wanna do is go look within that folder. So if we look at our J drive and then the WSUS folder, the first thing that we wanna validate is that we do in fact have the update services packs folder and the WSUS content folder. So that looks good. Now, if those directories did not exist, the first thing you would wanna do is create those to validate that if they were accidentally deleted, that the folders now exist after creating them. Now, the next thing that happens when you set up WSUS initially, it will also create a share to these folders that are used when we're actually performing the publishing operations. So the next thing that could happen, if we look at computer management, there could have been a scenario where you stop sharing that folder. So if we look at our shared folders and look at our shares, we can see that we do have some of our WSUS content folders shared out. Now, the first one that we have is our WSUS content folder, so that looks good. Uh, the next one is the WSUS temp folder, but what we're noticing here, we don't have the WSUS update service packs folders that is shared out. So that's the first issue. So that's where the updates actually get downloaded and published to is within this folder here. So what happened was the share got deleted here. So when the updates try to publish, it's saying that we can't find the share, therefore we can't create the directory. So that's why this error is happening. So what we would wanna do in this scenario, if the folder did already exist, um, we would go ahead and do properties and share it. Now, if it didn't exist, you could go ahead and create it. And then we would go to properties and then sharing. From here, we could click advanced sharing and then go ahead and share the folder. Then I'll just do OK on this and then choose close. Now coming back into my share, if we do a refresh, we can now see that this folder is shared. We can see that it's pointing to that correct directory, JWSUS update services packs. Now what we need to do is ensure the correct permissions are in place. So even if this was shared and the folder existed, it's possible that there were changes in permissions that caused us to no longer be able to create and publish. So what we would wanna do is if I look at one of our other configurations, so I jumped over to a different server, we're gonna replicate the sharing permissions within here. So what we have going on here, if we look at this, we have everyone set to read permissions, network service should have full control, WSUS administrators should also have full control as well as administrators. So that's the share permissions that should be on this folder. The next is gonna be the NTFS permission. So we have our system with full access, our network service with full access, our WSUS administrators with full access, and then our administrators with full access, and then users just have read and execute, list and read. So if we come back to our server, we'll go ahead and do properties on this. We'll go to share permissions. We're gonna add the network service. 
give it full control. WSUS administrators, okay, this is actually a local group, so we're going to look at the local machine here. And then do WSUS administrators. And then we'll give that full control. And then we'll just go validate that these are the permissions. So there we go, network service, WSUS admins, and then also administrators. So if we come back to the machine that was having issues, we'll go ahead and add administrators and then give that full control and then apply. The next thing we'll go through our NTFS. So we have system that has full control, network service, WSUS admins, administrators, and then users. So it looks like this is actually set correctly after we configure those share permissions. So now if we come back into our publishing tool, I'm gonna to go ahead and run a publishing sync cycle. Then we'll come back to our log file. So now we can see the publishing operation completed. It was able to publish the update and create the directory. So this should be the resolution to the issue if you got the error create directory failed. Thank you for watching.